So we're rolling. Is sound rolling? Sound speeds. I'm not shaken by much these days. I think that's all I ever wanted in the whole world. I mean, dreams, schmeans. I don't have any children. I'm not married. Perfection by whose standards? Love. Happiness. Friendship. Success. Your life is going to change a hundred times. This is what I call my story. So let's just start off and run one of these clips and see how it goes. Growing up in New York, I was lucky to be able to see people in all areas of life doing things. Everything was possible. I started on piano at eight. I moved to guitar at like 13. I was like, I'm gonna play Madison Square Garden and be a rock star. <laughs> I've always like been really career driven and ambitious and believed in like possibility. Sort of annoyingly so. My mom was an actress in community theater, and I got obsessed with it. We were all a little bit kind of offbeat in my family. I was never told, you can't do that, because they were like, I don't know, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> you know? I wanted to be a writer very, very young in my life. That's always been my dream. I had a teacher say, not only am I not putting you on this newspaper, but you are such a bad writer. I'm going to tell you right now, at age 14, to find something else to do with your life. I went to a college where I was in the acting program and there were a lot of sort of ingenue looking young women. So I gave somebody my headshot and they said, well, and I guess occasionally we do use your type, but, and she kind of threw it off the side. I was like, what am I, friggin' alligator? What are you talking about, my type? I was up for this really big opportunity and I went for it. I went for it more than I've gone for things in years. I got a phone call and they were like, so, we loved everything you sent us, but uh, you know, ultimately, these are the reasons that, that you won't work for this. And I thought they were just joking. <laughs> I don't know if I cried. I just felt like there's something about me that isn't good enough. There were a lot of years where it didn't make a lot of sense, you know, logistically, to pursue this thing that was so elusive. Every time I'd find some little project to do somewhere, it was clarified for me. I just knew when I was working on it, yeah, no, this is it, this is it. You have to take that heartbreak and that rejection and you've got to amp yourself up and you have to believe it's really going to happen so that you give it your all. There's something about being on stage that I just feel this is what my life is meant to be and I don't know the details of how that will play out but like I think it's really simple like physics you know what you put in you'll get out. I am the author of the book, All of My Friends Are Engaged. I am a blogger for my website, The Things I Learned From. On the side of my blog, it says, this is dedicated to this person who told me, don't write, you're not good. The feeling I get is gratitude, that I had this little thing telling me early on, this is what you do, this is what you love. I'm not shaken by much these days. To be able to really feel this way is the greatest gift of all. I mean, dreams, schmeans. This was really it.